Um, so let's draw first the circuit for the bridge. Okay, now uh, let's look at the. Okay, bridges. so it will look like. We are. Okay, so let's draw it. So it looks like this. So you have the transformer, then you have the diode, right? So draw the diode like this. The arrangement of the diode is important. So then you have a resistor in between. And then you have another diode here. And then have another diode over there. doesn't look proportionate but uh, let's draw it again okay so there's our bridge circuit okay so the output is taken uh, across the resistor here so be plus here minus here the V out okay now uh, let's label the diode. So you have four diodes. You have D1, D2, D3, D3, D4. Okay, similar to one in your textbook. And this, this and one and two. Right, so now we, we are interested to look at the... Uh, we are interested to look at the... Uh, the peak inverse voltage. It means that... We are interested to hmm. we are interested at the so it's, this is a full wave rectifier. It doesn't matter if it's uh, we look at the positive cycle or negative cycle of the input. So let's look at the first the positive cycle of the input. So if that happens is if that happens. If I were to draw this, then uh, positive cycle, so be positive here, negative here, and the current will flow through here like this, right? And then complete the circuit. So again, uh, if we look there, if I redraw the circuit over here, it will look like mm, so. Uh, Hmm. So let's say let's say we want to find the peak inverse voltage of of D four. Okay, so we want to find the peak inverse voltage of D four. So if you draw the circuit, it'll be like this. You have the output voltage across the uh, resistor over here, and you have the diode of D four, and then don't forget you have a and the diode here which is on so d2 is on okay so d2 has a plus minus phi gamma and then this is your there's a earth over there so so the since d4 is uh we reverse by d4 so it means that here will be positive and here will be negative okay so so if i we want to find the P inverse voltage, so I will change that like this. So we'll do a P, P inverse voltage across here, P I V. Okay, so if we do a, what do you call it, um, a KVL across there, so what do you get? Hmm, so do a KVL. Here, do a KVL there. You will get okay. So let's start from here. Plus PIV. Plus PIV. Then so minus uh, V gamma. Then you go here. Minus V out equals to zero. Right. PIV will be equals to V out plus V gamma. Is that correct? Hmm. 
So, uh, let's talk for a while. Okay, so resume. So we know uh, here uh, from our previous, you know, uh, class, what's the output voltage for a bridge? Output voltage for a bridge is actually uh, V out equals to Vs peak mm -hmm. minus 2 V gamma, right? We got this from uh, pre our when we learned the class. We derived this in the class. So now we substitute into here. Okay. So if that's the case, then V out will be V S peak minus two V gamma plus V gamma. Okay. Then it will be the peak inverse voltage will be V S peak minus V gamma. So that's the the final answer for the peak inverse voltage. So it should be uh, straightforward. Okay. I think that's all. If you don't understand, you can come and ask me. Okay, thank you.